Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, we will create one C program to authenticate the user details. And then we will upload that particular EXE into Immunity Debugger and then we will hack the EXE. So let's do the same thing practically. So first of all, I need to create one C program. So I'm just creating a one program that is integer main. And here I'm creating two variable, one that is system password. So I'm declaring here character system password of 20. Let me save this program in D drive. Let me select the folder that is Parag and let me save this program as that is demo1.c. Now I need another variable that is user password that is of 20 characters. Let me define the system password right now. So I'm just defining the system password that is my secret. Now I need to get the password from the user. So I'm just writing here printf enter password scanf percentage s. Why percentage s? Because it is a character array. So no need to write the address. We can directly write here that is user password. So user password will be stored into this variable that is upwd. Now we need to compare the user password and system password. So I'm just using here one function that is string comparison of system password and user password. If both are equal, then difference will be zero. It means that both are same. There is no difference between system password and user password. If both are equal, then this strcmp function will return me zero. So here I will just give the message to the user that welcome user. You can access the system else. I just want to give one message over here that is invalid password and you can write here message that is try again. So let me save this program. Now I can run this program that is build and run. Now whenever you build and run this program, it will ask you to enter the password. So I'm just writing here enter password that is a wrong password. For example, I'm writing here that is testing. It says that invalid password try again. Let me rerun this program and I'm writing here the password that is my secret. And it says that welcome user. Now I want to hack this exe that is demo1.exe and I want to enter the any password and I need the message that is welcome user. So that you can do using the immunity debugger. So let me open this that is demo1.exe file into immunity debugger. So I'm just starting my immunity debugger. Now here in immunity debugger, you can open your exe. So my exe is available in D drive Parag and the exe is demo one. You can open this exe over here. Now you can simply run this exe. So you can run this. Whenever you run this, it will open this exe into command prompt. So here command prompt is there. It is asking me for the password. Now you can just enter here any password. For example, I'm entering the password that is testing and you can press enter. It says that invalid password. Try again. Now I want to bypass this and whenever I enter the testing, I want the message that is welcome user. So how we can do this? Very simple. Here you can just close this and here you can load your exe. So my exe is demo1.exe. You can just open this demo1.exe. Now here you can simply maximize this. Now here you can just right click and you can search for that is all reference text string. So here you will get all the reference text string. Here the text string is there that is enter password is there. Invalid password is also there and welcome user is also there. So here you can just double click on invalid password and try again. So now here you can just maximize this and here you can just check that this is the message that is invalid password and try again. Now here you can just check that this is the jump instruction. It means that it is checking for the password. If the password is wrong, then it is jumping to the so here j and z is also there so it is jumping to the 
invalid password if the specified string comparison is that is wrong so here you can just do what you can just select this string comparison up to j and z and you can just right click over here and you can click on binary and here you can fill with the knob so this string will fill with the knob now you can run this particular exe and here you can provide only string that is just string and you will get the message that is welcome user now i want to replace the exe so if you want to replace the exe very simple you can just close this or you can reopen this demo1.exe again so i'm opening demo1.exe again now here you can just right click and you can search for that is all reference text string here you can double click on welcome user or invalid password and here you can just hide the portion of comparison so you can just select this string comparison this three lines up to j and z instruction you can just right click binary and you can fill with the knobs once it is done you can just right click and you can just click over here that is copy to executables all modifications and you can copy all modifications now you can just save this right click and save file and you can save into that is d drive parag folder that is a modified demo one and you can save this now this modified demo one is saved in my d drive parag folder so i can just open this d drive parag folder from command prompt so i can move to cmd here in cmd i can move to the d drive cd parag folder now i can run first demo1.exe so it is asking me for the password if i say testing it says that invalid password now i'm just executing the modified demo1.exe and it is asking me for the password now i'm writing the password that is testing and it says that welcome user so here you can see that the demo1.exe was the original exe and then I just hack that particular exe using immunity debugger. And now, if you provide any password over here, for example, if you pass any password, it will say that welcome user. So this is the way you can modify the exe using immunity debugger, and you can hack the exe using the immunity debugger. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.